What is going on, you guys? Chronotine coming at you with a little re Lego review set. So, how guys doing myself to today? Uh, I know that I usually would do a build review and showing myself building the vid uh, the uh, set, but uh, with this set being out, you know, I just really couldn't help myself. Yeah, it's just it's so hard to like you know be in an apartment and have a set that literally hasn't been opened in like three days after buying it, and you just have to like you know wait to have a video get ready for it. But I couldn't do that this time. Not. Not, not this time, but I, I, you guys understand. The Ant-Man and Wasp movie's out. I still can't see it, so I'm doing whatever I can to hype myself up for when I do go see it. Pretty much probably when I get paid is more than likely when I'm going to go actually see it. But, um, yeah, but here it is. We have the Ant-Man and Wasp uh, Quantum Realm Explorer set, which comes with the Wasp, Ant-Man, and Ghost figures. Um, and they are fighting over Hank Pym's shrinking um, uh, formula. And fighting in the quantum realm by the looks of the of the of the set but not entirely true because they're both trying to like get the the serum while in the spaceship that's going to help them go to the quantum realm to help find wasp's mother so let's go ahead and get started by looking at the figures we have the ghost figure i have no idea what her you know role in the film is i know that she's a bad guy i know that she was probably in the quantum realm and obtained the quantum realm shrinking powers but just by i guess being revealed to the to the realm too much so maybe she obtained the powers herself but uh this figure is not bad it's actually pretty cool i i i think it's really neat especially the gray hoodie is pretty damn cool itself back detailing is very nice indeed uh i definitely think this is really well up uh well detailed figure overall so yeah that's pretty cool i know that she has a double face which is right here where she shows her regular human face so that's pretty cool. You can switch around and have her human face with the hood on or just have this mask on put with the hood. So, yeah. And and the only reason I really wanted to set for the figure right here is the wasp figure. Now, let's go over let's go over the pluses and minuses of this figure. Detailing on the chest is great and the back cool. Wings are absolutely amazing. They're not a little fabric that you usually get for Jedi hoods and stuff like that. It's an actual plastic, if you don't believe me. Yep, plastic. She can put it on her uh, her neck piece, just like you would a a, a, um, a cape for um, a, a, a Jedi set or something like that. Um, chest piece is just like the costume design from the movie. That's pretty damn cool. Has her own little face. Definitely looks like the girl from the movie. The only thing that I was very disappointed in was the mask. It's just a paint on, and I'm not too sure how I feel about that. I kind of expected more, like because. With the yellow jacket figure from the first um, Antime Ant-Man set, um, the yellow jacket's mask is really spot on, and I figured that they would do something with Ant with the Wasp as well. But unfortunately, nope, that's not the case. It's just the paint on. I mean, the figure's cool overall, but I kind of wish they did more with her, just because she's such an amazing character through this whole film. For what not least is the Ant-Man figure. This is f amazing in detail. Like, wow, the torso and the pants and the back look really nice i wish they did something different with the mask though because it's the same exact mask from the first set that came out a long time ago uh, but this is absolutely gorgeous i love the detail on this figure it is just perfect in comparison to the movie version and of course we have the quantum realm speeder which has the mechanisms to open up the doors side to side and then the glass opens up at the top and when you're ready to put Ant-Man into a gold position, put him in the seat, put the big one down first. Whoops. Put the, put the big glass down first, and the side ones last. And there he is, he's inside the pod. And the speeder overall, the Quantum Realm speeder, is pretty damn cool. I love the engine pieces, I love the mechanical pieces that pretty much show that it's machinery, and it's like, you know, ready to float and shoot and stuff like that has its own little see-through cannons and retractable um, arms pretty much implying an ant shape so I think this is a pretty cool thing I think what the my my guess is when Scott Pym sees this uh, the speeder he probably calls it Antony because you know Antony dies in the first movie so I'm hoping that's the case but this is pretty damn cool of a speeder I think Overall. It is guys, you have the Ant-Man and Wasp Quantum Realm Explorer set. 
comes with the Ghost, Wasp, and Ant-Man, and the Quantum Realm Speeder, Hank Pym's um, <laughs> formula, and the Trophy, and Ant-Man's Shrink Ray. So this set comes to be around $20, no, $21.19. Um, yeah, $21.19 in total after tax, of course. Definitely worth it, I think. If you really want a Wasp figure, this is definitely one to go for. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.